full name, Jane Van Dyne. And it says that uh, the cause of her death was bronchial pneumonia. Former or usual residence, 207 7th Avenue. If I'm not mistaken, 207 7th Avenue is a, is a restaurant that, that, I, that I go to, that my wife and I go to. We were just there last night. That's weird. That's really strange. <laughs> my mom's mom, Amanda Van Dyne, died when my mom was like three. We really don't know much about her. And I think a big reason that we don't talk about her is because it's a painful subject in the family because she took her own life. I mean, it does make you wonder if, um, if there was one family member that was able to take their own, their own life, if there's been a history of depression in the family. It's, it is something that I would like to know. Hello. Hey. <laughs> How are you? Hi. How are you doing? Hey, Michael. Yeah. How's it going? Hi, Ma. Hi, how are you? Hey. Good, how are you? Okay. All right. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we know about the Buscemi name, that it was from Sicily. But the big mystery for me is where your family is even from. She doesn't even know what she is. Well, <laughs> yes, this is what we want to figure out. Yeah, so, yeah. So now your mom is yeah. Amanda Van Dyne. Van Dyne. Do you know her father, what the father's first name was? Charles. Charles Van Dyne. I like that. He sounds like Mr. Moneybags from Monopoly. <laughs> <laughs> and this is my mother. Amanda Van Dyne. So this, this is the picture that I know yeah. of. After my mother died, my sister had this made up. And she had it made up because oh. there were so few pictures of There's her. There's no picture, yeah. This is my grandmother, uh, Jane Van Dyne. Jane yeah, Van Dyne. Jane Van Dyne. The mother of your mother. My Amanda grandmother. Dyne. Yes, mm -hmm. so Jane Van Dyne is your... Uh, grandmother. As far as you know, she was born in New York. Brooklyn, yeah. And what year did she die? 1928. For me, you know, this is where I would like to uh, start the journey, and I'll let you know, because I know that you're really curious, because yeah. you, don't know, you don't know anything about them. No, not a thing. Well, we'll try and change that. Okay. <laughs> it would be great if I can find out some real concrete information about my mom's family, because I think it would mean a lot to her. She sort of grew up not knowing much. She couldn't get a lot out of her, her own father. He never talked about his life too much. And of course, she didn't know her own mother. She does know that Amanda Van Dyne was her mom. Her mother was Jane Van Dyne. And Jane's husband was Charles Van Dyne. Jane Van Dyne died in 1928. I really want to look up her records, and hopefully from there I can find out more about her and more about her past. So I'm meeting with genealogist Joseph Shumway at the New York City Municipal Archives. Hello. Steve? Hi, you must be Joseph. I am, how are you? Nice to meet it's you. Nice to meet you in person. Come on over here and let me show you what I've got. All right. Yeah. I was able to locate a death certificate entry for Jane Van Dyne from 1928. Here she is, full name Jane Van Dyne. And it says that uh, the cause of her death was bronchial pneumonia, former or usual residence, 207 7th Avenue. If I'm not mistaken, 207 7th Avenue is a, is a restaurant that, that, I, that I go to, that my wife and I go to. We were just there last night. That's weird, that's really strange. <laughs> Her father is Ralph Montgomery. Maiden name of mother, Julia Vanderhoff. So Ralph Montgomery, it would be my great, great grandfather. Right. And Julia Vanderhoff would be my great, great grandmother. So it says here that both her parents were born in the US, but according to this, she was 48 when she died, but she'd only been living in New York for 32 years. I'm wondering, well, where did she live? before New York, right, which says that she was born in the U.S., but it doesn't say, it doesn't say where. Mm -hmm. That makes me curious. Where did they come from? One record we want to definitely see if we can pin down is a census record and see if we can locate Jane with her parents. All right. 
right? So for the age range, this here is our best match. This top one, Jane this top one. Montgomery, uh -huh. born about 1869. Residence, 1880, Camden, New Jersey. The 1880 United States Federal Census. Well, I see here, Montgomery Jane. What is this 11? That's her age? That's her age. Servant. I'm confused. It says servant as the relationship to who? To her? It looks like the head of the household that she's residing in is this gentleman right here. Tillman Turner. Right. So this is, I've never heard of this. This is really confusing to me that, so she did not live with her own parents. She lived in Camden, New Jersey at, um, as far as I know, she's not related to these people but she worked as their servant at 11 years old. What were the parents doing? How does something like that happen?